balanced diet, yoga. The role of the nurse, the generalist nurse, understands basis of anxiety disorders, identifies clients' mental health needs. Major interventions include establishing rapport, enhancing present coping skills, assessing maladaptive responses, promoting health maintenance, the advanced practice psychiatric nurse, major interventions, psychotherapy, prescribing medications, case management, evaluation of outcome measures. Interventions to reduce anxiety, provide a calm and quiet environment. Ask patients to identify what and how they feel. Encourage patients to describe and discuss the feelings with you and identify possible causes of their feelings. Ask patients if they feel suicidal or have a plan to hurt themselves. Plan and involve patients in the activities. Discuss with the patient their present and previous coping mechanisms. Assist patient with exploring alternative solutions and behaviors. Encourage patient to learn new adaptive coping behaviors through role playing or implementation. Teach patient relaxation exercises. Promote the use of hobbies and recreational activities. Detrimental interventions in anxiety. Pressuring the patient to change permanently. Disapproving verbally a patient behavior. Asking a patient a direct question that places him in the defense. Focusing in a critical way on the anxious feelings of the patient with other patients. Lacking awareness of her own behavior, withdrawing from the patient. Categories of anxiety disorders. One, panic disorder with or without agoraphobia. Two, phobic disorders, social or specific. Three, agoraphobia without panic disorder. 4. OCD 5. Post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD 6. Acute stress disorder 7. Generalized anxiety disorder 8. Substance-induced anxiety disorder Panic disorder 1. Panic disorder without agoraphobia. Recurrent unexpected panic attacks and one month or more after an attack of one of the symptoms. Persistent concern about additional attacks. Worry about the implications of the attack or its consequences. Significant change in behavior following the attacks. Absence of agoraphobia, not a direct physiologic effect of a substance or medical condition. Panic attacks for 15 to 30 minutes. Episode of rapid, intense anxiety within the person's experiences where they display great emotional fear and four or more of the following symptoms palpitations, sweating, abdominal distress, chest pain, SOV, sense of suffocation, tremors, dizziness, 
nausea, derealization, the feeling of unreality, or depersonalization, being detached from oneself, fear of dying, chills or hot flashes. When the person is recurrent, unexpected panic attack, followed by at least one month of persistent concern or worry about having future attacks and staying away from places or people where or with whom the panic attacks occurred. Great apprehension about the outcome of routine activities and experiences. Loss of disruption of important interpersonal relationships demoralization and possible major depressive episode, transient tachycardia, moderate elevation of systolic BP, respiratory alkalosis, onset start on adolescence, mid-30s, assessment, feels unreal and detached from the self, Fears losing control or going insane. Feels like he or she is dying and has a temporarily disorganized thought process. Attempts to free from severe emotions and frightening symptoms. Judgment is suspended during panic attacks in an effort to escape. Because of fear to another attack, Avoids people, places, and events associated with previous panic attack. Panic disorder with agoraphobia. Fear of the marketplace or fear of being outside. Fear of stepping outside the front door or stays in limited area near home. Primary gain. Relief of anxiety by performing the specific anxiety-driven behavior, such as staying in the house. Secondary gain. Attention received from others as a result of the person's behavior. Treatment. Positive reframing. Teaches the person to create positive message to use during panic attack. For example, I can slow my heart rate. This is just an anxiety. Assertiveness training helps the person take more control over life situations. Medications. SSRI antidepressants, most effective, non-addictive, given for six to 18 months. Benzodiazepine anxiolytics for a short period, four weeks or less, can cause dependence. For example, alprazolam, Xanax, short acting, and clonazepam, clonopin, long acting, anti seizure. TCAs, tricyclic antidepressants or heterocyclic antidepressants. Non-addictive, long-term recommended. MAOI, phenelzine, nardal. Inhibits symptoms of panic disorder. Data analysis, panic disorder. Risk for injury, anxiety, fear, Social isolation, situational low self-esteem, ineffective role performance, ineffective coping, disturbed sleep pattern, outcome identification, panic disorder. Client will be free from injury, verbalize feelings, use effective coping techniques, Manage own anxiety response. 
verbalized sense of personal control, sleep at least six hours per night. Nursing interventions. One, promoting safety and comfort. Provide a safe environment, a quiet place to reduce anxiety. Ensure client's safety. Stay with client, use a soothing, calm voice, and give brief direction to assure client that he is safe. Therapeutic relationship and therapeutic communication. Establish trust and show unconditional positive regard and genuineness. Communication should be simple and calm. Tell the client that you recognize his behavior, but calmly explain that such behaviors are methods to release anxiety. Do not touch a person with high anxiety, interpreted as a threat and fall away abruptly. When anxiety has subsided, use open-ended questions to discuss the experience to help client try to regain a sense of control. Client and family teaching. Relaxation techniques. Guided imagery. Progressive muscle relaxation. Rhythmic breathing. Thought stopping. Person forcefully orders himself to stop the irrational fears or panicky thoughts. Meditation. Person ignores the panic thoughts and uses a repeated word or sound to center his thoughts. Stress reduction techniques to allow the client gain a sense of control, increase self esteem and compliance with meds. Encourage client to engage in regular exercise, decreases panic reactions, and helps increase feelings of well-being. Panic disorder with agoraphobia. Meets criteria for panic disorders, including panic attacks. Experiences agoraphobia. Not better accounted for by another mental disorder, such as phobia or social phobia. It is anxiety about being in places and situations from which escape might be difficult or embarrassing, or in which help may not be available in the event of having an unexpected or situationally predisposed panic attack or panic-like symptoms. Fears typically involve characteristic clusters of situations that include being outside the home alone, being in the crowd or standing in a line, being on a bridge and traveling in a bus, train or automobile. Risk factors, agoraphobia, family history, substance or stimulant abuse, severe stressors, female gender. Those who experience separation anxiety during childhood. Smoking tobacco products. Early life traumas. Management and interventions. Agoraphobia. 1. Breathing control. Abdominal breathing. Patient should stop between each cycle of 10 breaths and monitor normal breathing for 30 seconds. Repeat it for three to five minutes.